welcome back to my channel. Today is another Shop My Sash Saturday where we first go over what is on my face and then we go over what was in my drawers, then we go and shop my stash. So if that is something that you are interested in watching, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I have on my face is this blush. It's from The Essence. It is in the shade Beloved or Beloved, however you wanna say it. But I absolutely love this shade and I think it looks really good with the eyeshadows that I have on my face. The next thing I have is this Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. And I'm not gonna open it because then it would spoil some progress in my project pan. So that way you can go ahead and click on my project pan if that is something that you are interested in watching. I do have four different project pans going on. So the next thing I have is this Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Into Sun. Looks like this. And I use it on my cheeks and then I use it kind of like on my forehead to kind of shape my my hairline and everything um so that is how I have it on today for highlighter I have the Kylie highlighter in the shade princess please it is a nice um pinkish white highlighter and I think it looks really good today um it's not like in in your face flashy but I think it looks really good. The next thing I have is my eyeshadow palette and I use the Norvina ABH palette. This is the collection number four. And if I can open it, it's got all these shades in here. I absolutely love it. Um, I used this purple shade right here, this pink shade right here, and then the pink shade right next to it with the glitter. And that is what is on my eyes today. Oh, and I also used this shimmer or glitter shade as well. It's a white glitter. So that is what I have on my eyes today. The next thing I have on my face is the MAC Fix Plus. Um, this is the cherry blossom version of it. I'm not sure if it's still available on the website. You'd have to check that out. But um, the next thing I have is for my foundation. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade um, soft beige. This is the dewy finish. I do enjoy the dewy finish more than I thought I would. Um, I enjoy, I just really enjoy the finish. I think it looks really well and I do have dry skin, so it helps with the moisture and everything. For concealer, I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in the shade 105 Ivory Rose. For, um, primer, I have the Milk Hydro Grip primer. I love that primer very much. I need to buy it in a full size. I have the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss Balm on top of my MAC Half and Half lipstick. I love this color. It's a so beautiful nude shade. And then for my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, I have the Ico Black Magic and the Ofra Eyeliner in the shade Black. Then for mascara, I have the MAC in Extra Dimension 3D Black Lash. This is a sample size. And then for my eyebrows, I have the Benefit Give Me Brow. This is the shade Four. And I absolutely love to death um, the Gimme Brow. So I love the Benefit line. I think it looks really good. Um, it definitely shapes my brows. It has a really, really cute like brush. It's super tiny and it's just, I love it. And it shapes my brows really well. So that was everything that was on my face today. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into what else was in my makeup drawers. So the first thing I have is the Aura and Out eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I used this one time. Um, I have the Cloud Spun palette from ColourPop. I used this one time, and I think I just used the middle, um, the middle glitter for one of my colors. When I did my In a Trance palette look, I did Cotton Candy look. 
and I love this palette. I use this color, this color, and I think this color. And then I put this on top, or I put the um, Cloud Spun, that middle shade that I showed you. Love these palettes. They are gorgeous for spring. The next eyeshadow thing I have is in my eyeshadow single. This is in the shade Lady Bird. I have a depotted um, Sephora. This is not Sephora. This is a Storybook Cosmetics. This is Little Briar Rose palette. These are just some four shades from that palette. And I have Hit Pan. That is part of my Project Pan, so you got a little spoiler for that. The next thing I have is my Truly Madly Deeply palette from ColourPop, looking like this. I love the colors. There's some nudes and pinks and glitters in there. So really appropriate for spring. Next, I have my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I highly recommend it. It is such a big pan shape um, that you just get a lot of product for your money. And it, it works really well. The next thing I have is from Kaleidos. This is the Star Surfer in Space Age. It is a pink undertone highlighter. It looks white, but it's got a pink shift to it. I love it. The next thing I have is from Too Faced. This is the Fancy Pink Diamond Highlighter. It looks like this, and I did have this in one of my project pans before, but obviously I didn't hit pan. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi um, Highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. If you can get your hands on it, I know it's probably like super expensive to get your hands on right now um, because it is um, discontinued. <sighs> but oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. The next thing I have is this MAC blush in the shade Peaches. It is a nice orangey pink. Love it. I love the formula. It's my only, uh, well, my first real MAC blush. The other one I have is like a blush topper because it's like really shiny. The next thing I have is this Tarte um, Amazonian 12 hour clay blush in the shade Seduce. Then I have the Milani Blossom Time Rose um, blush as well. Love that color. Looks really good for spring. For foundations, I also had the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Love both of those. I had the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. That's actually a surprisingly good primer. I do enjoy it. And then I also have the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer as well as the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas and the Original. I enjoy both of those. For concealer, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover um, in the shade 150 Porcelain. I have the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 100 Ivory. And last but not least for concealers, I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in the shade Fair 20N. For setting sprays, I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic uh, Setting Mist and then the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. Then for um, eyeliners, I had a brown shade. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Spice. Then for mascaras, I put in the Essence Lash Princess and the Laura Geller New York. Um, this one's, I don't know what it's called, but um, <laughs> it is in the shade black. Then I also had an XL Lash Volumizer Formula for lip liners. I had the Appeal Gel Liner in Dulce and the EVO Beauty in the shade Val. I absolutely love both of these. They are super pretty colors and they go well with all the nudes that I um, enjoy wearing. Then for lipsticks, lip glosses and liquid lipsticks, I had a ton and I didn't get enough use out of any of them because I chose way too much, but I had the Buxom lipstick in the shade, uh, the Full Force in the shade White Russian. 
I had the Tom Ford lip color in the shade Scarlet Rouge, which is the bright red. I had the Pat McGrath Skin Sane Blitz Tramps lipstick. And I love this lipstick color. Like it is a beautiful nude. You need to get this one. For uh, other lipsticks, I had the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and the Marc Jacobs Slow Burn. This is the Lamarck Lip Cream. Like that one as well. For liquid lipsticks, I had the Dose of Colors um, Campfire shade. I used this one time and I really enjoyed the formulation. And then I had the Kylie Jenner Bear uh, liquid lipstick as well. For lip gloss, I had the Lime Life by Alcone Perfect Lip Gloss. This one's in the shade Humble. And I enjoy the scent and the feel of it. So it looks really nice. But okay, that is everything that is inside my drawers and on my face. Um, if you are still watching, we are about to go into the Shop My Sash portion. Alrighty, now we are back with the Shop My Sash portion. And here are the tablets, palettes that I am going to be using this week. So we have the Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade from ColourPop, which I absolutely love. These colors are super gorgeous. There are some neutrals and some other colors in here as well as shimmers and glitters. So we're gonna put that in our basket. Next, we have the Makeup Revolution Strawberry Shortcake Palette, I believe. Yes, Strawberry Shortcake Palette or Strawberry Cheesecake. I can't read it, one of the two. Probably, oh, I just dug my finger into it. Darn it, oh well. Um, strawberry Cheesecake Palette and it looks like this. Super pretty, some mauves and pinks and neutral colors as well. I love the packaging on it, it's super cute. So I'll put that in here. Last but not least, we have the Ofra and Samantha March collab, Life's Draft. And we have the eyeshadow. Then we have a blush, bronzer, and highlight in here as well. And I can't wait to use it. We have six, Dream Chaser, and Key. So we have six, Dream Chaser, and Key. So that is what we have in here. Next, we're gonna go into my drawers and we are going to pick um, a powder. And I am going to choose, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna choose that one. I think I'm gonna choose my Huda Beauty. This one is in Pound Cake. I'm gonna choose this one. And I think I'm going to choose my Park Ave Princess um, palette, uh, face palette. And it looks like this. We've got some bronzers and highlight shades. So we're gonna choose that, put it in here. And that's that. Next, we're gonna go into this drawer. And I am going to choose my Too Faced Plump and Prime uh, Primer. This is a face plumping primer serum. It's a serum. So we're gonna do that one. And we're not gonna choose a concealer this week. Next, we are gonna go down to foundations. And I am going to choose, what should I choose? All these are up here. Um, I'm gonna choose my Lancome Renegerie, I don't know how to say it, Lift Makeup. This one's in the shade 110 IVOC. So we'll choose that, put it in the basket. Next, we're gonna go into blushes. And, hmm, I've, I've moved my blushes around and everything. I have high-end spring and summer, um, like, other, I mean, uh, drugstore spring and summer. And then back here is like the winter colors and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna pull out my ColourPop Enchanted Mirror blush. 
looks like that. And then my, what is this one? This is my Ofra Blush Bellini. So we're gonna choose that. And then I think I'm also going to choose a blush topper. This is my MAC blush topper. I, I say blush topper. In Dilly Dolly, this is the extra dimension blush and it looks like this, super shimmery. So I'm gonna use that as well. And I'm gonna skip setting sprays this week. I'm not gonna choose another one. Next, we're gonna go down to highlights and I am going to choose, let's see, my Maybelline Master Chrome. This one is in the shade Rose Gold Molten. And then I am going to choose my Ofra um, highlighter for collab with Steph Tomes in Milk and Cookies. There we go. That is what it looks like. Super pretty. And that is going to be it for highlights and blushes. So we're going to put these items in our basket. Next, we're going to go up here and we're going to go into my eyeliner drawer and we're going to choose of course the Ofra eyeliner in black and then we're going to choose the Araceli um, Ojos Perfectos liquid eyeliner and we're going to do the Stila again because I didn't use it at all last week so we're putting that in there next for brow pencils and creams we're going to do the Give Me Brow in the shade 4 and the scone gimme brow put that in here and we're done with that one next we're going to go into here and i'm going to choose the mac in extreme dimension 3d black lashes and the their real magnet from benefit so we're going to do those two this week and that is it from there. Next, we're gonna go into lip glosses and lip colors and whatnot. This one is the MAC Kinda Sexy. I just got it and it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna try it out this week. And then we're gonna do the Alme, if I can get it, the Alme Lip Vibes. This one is in the shade Go Wild. Let's see if I can get it out. Looks like that's a little bit more brown nude. So we're going to try that. Then I think I'm going to choose one of Samantha March's new. Um, shades and I'm going to do this one right here. This one is in the shade Peony. It's a lip gloss. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm going to choose one of these. And I think I'm going to choose this one. This is the shade Pasadena. And that will be it for lipsticks and lip glosses and liquid lipsticks next we're going to come up and do liquid liquid um lip liners and i'm going to choose this kkw beauty this one is in the shade nude one and then i'm going to choose the other one this one is in nude zero so we're going to do these two kkw beauty put them in there and then we are gonna take everything that is in this basket and put it in the drawers along with our project pan items. Alrighty, so we've got everything out in the drawers, laid out nice and neat. And I'm pretty impressed with, you know, being able to fit everything in here <laughs> every single week. Um, so we've got my uh, project pan eyeshadows. Then we have the three that I chose for the week. Then we've got highlighters. We've got blushes and the blush topper. We've got the lipsticks and whatnot. 
We've got the bronzers and the bronzer, bronzing palette and stuff. Then we've got primers, foundations, concealers, powders, setting sprays, lip liners, eyebrow products. We have the sharpener right here. We have the eyeliners and the mascaras and the primer or serum for the formula, booster formula, eyelash booster formula, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, this is what everything looks like. I am really excited to get some use out of this one and this one. I haven't ever used either of these before. I just got that one in the mail today. And then I haven't used that one yet, so I'm anxious to use that one. Then I am excited to use this as well because I just got it in the mail today. And I'm excited to test this one out, this blush as well. And I haven't really used much of this, so we're, I'm excited to use this as well. And these three shades as well, I haven't used before, so I am anxiously awaiting. And I can't wait to get some more use out of all my other items. So, oh, and these are new as well. So I am anxiously awaiting the use of those too. So, um, I am super excited to get on this week with what I've chosen. I can't wait to do some new makeup looks, especially with the, the eyeshadow palettes and everything. I can't wait to see what everything looks like and see what my eyes look like when I'm done um, testing those two palettes out. Um, I, I just really, I can't wait. And I've said that so many times, so I do apologize. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so um, this is what the uh, drawer looks like, and I hope everyone has a really good week. I hope everyone stays healthy, and remember to stay beautiful.